I want to learn trading, but I'm afraid that AI will take my place and the skill will be useless in about 10 years. What should I do, Ben? That's what we're going to talk about today. And we're also going to answer some more questions because today is all about Q&A. So let's go. So we're going to get to the AI question later, but let's answer some other questions first and then let's get to the AI question. So the first question is, how do I survive eight years of losing or why would you continue? OK, so he's basically talking about my journey. OK, it took me if you don't know, it took me eight years to actually see success with trading. And during those eight years, man, it was tough. So this person is asking me, why would I continue and how did I survive losing for eight years? So I'm going to tell you, man, it, it was tough. You know, um, it was God. You no, know, number one, God basically gave me enough strength to, you know, you know, hold on. But overall, you know, I wanted it bad. Right. I really wanted it. OK, so number one, you should have a why. And uh, next thing that helped me out was, um, you know, I always try to remind myself I don't want to work for someone. OK, so I used to always imagine in my head, you know, working or going to work for 40 years or 30 years straight. Right. Just waking up and doing the same thing over and over. And I used to, you know, picture that inside my head. And that was painful. So that pain motivated me to actually keep going. So. That was it. God and my why. I mean, basically, my why was I wanted freedom. I wanted to be able to buy anything I want, travel and just, you know, provide for my family or just help myself in general. So that's how I was able to do that. So let's go to the next question. How do you adapt to changing markets to stay profitable? Well, I talk about this all the time. OK, the market is always changing different states. It's not like the market is doing something new. Right. When it changed, it's not doing anything new. I know a lot of people will say that or make it sound like the market is always changing. You always got to change up your strategy. That's not the case. The market is always changing states. Right. And I talk about these like four different states. The market is always changing in. And um, I have videos about that. But basically, you have to know in real time what the market is doing. OK, so it's just trending, it's ranging and reversing. Is it breaking now? Whatever the case is, it's best to um, have a strategy for those markets. Or if you don't have a strategy for those markets, stay out the market until your setup comes in the right environment. So that's how I deal with the market when it's changing. I'm looking at the market in real time and asking myself, what is it doing? OK, then I prepare my chart for that type of market. All right, so let's go to the next question. Wait, but if you have a 40% win rate, doesn't that mean your strategy is not working? If so, then win rate doesn't matter, right? So he's asking me, if I have a win rate, right, around 40%, can you still win? And the answer is yes. Let me show you guys a chart real quick. So if you look at this win rate chart, right, the first row is a one-to-one. -one. If you are trading a one-to-one -one strategy, meaning that if you're risking $100, to make $100, you need at least a 60% win rate, right? But let's go to a 40% win rate. A 40% win rate, you can still win, but you have to have a two to one risk reward. So what does that mean? That means that if you're risking $100, you have to make $200, okay? So yes, let's say that your first trade was a loser and that's $100, but your second trade was a winner, that's $200. So you have $200 and you have $100, okay? If you take the $200 minus the $100, you are left with $100, okay? So that's how we can actually win with a 40% win rate. And if you go down, you know, we can even still win with a 20% win rate. Just look at the chart, okay? So let's go to the next question. Actually, the question of the day. I want to learn trading, but am afraid that AI will take my place and the skill will be useless in about 10 years. What should I do, Ben? And this is actually a good question. Um, honestly, it's a really good question. So let's talk about it. First of all, you have to understand that the market is always moving, right? Always changing different states. So it's really hard for an AI bot to actually trade all markets because you always have to tweak and adjust your bot to the different types of market. OK, but let's say there was an AI bot that can actually trade, you know, all markets. It wouldn't matter because we can actually exist at the same time. Day traders, right? and algos and ai bots are separate and they are two completely different things so we are not really competing with each other we can actually still exist at the same time because the market is a very complex machine that you know change different states all the time and also 
you know, you can trade the five second chart, the one minute chart, the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart, the one hour chart, the daily chart. Like there are so many opportunities and so many different ways you can trade the market. You can create thousands of different strategies and these strategies can actually exist at the same time, but they don't have to compete with each other. So it's not like, you know, we're getting in the way of the AI bots or the algos, right? We're not really getting in the way, okay? We can actually, you know, ride their wave. You know, if they have enough money to push up the market, we can ride that wave. But for the most part, it won't hurt your trading. And another thing is the market need day traders, okay? A lot of people don't understand this, but day traders provide liquidity. So if you want to get out your stock, you know, real quick, the reason why you can do that is because day traders are in the market providing liquidity and you can get in and out the market, you know, much faster because of the liquidity. So, you have to understand that the market needs liquidity. So it wouldn't make sense for them to just, you know, get rid of all the day traders um, because, you know, the market would be dry. So, yes, the market needs day traders for liquidity. Right. And also, let's be honest. Guess what? When you lose, that means somebody on the other side just won. So they need losers to actually make money. So to me, I don't see no reason why. Uh, they would get rid of day traders it wouldn't make any sense to me so don't worry about it day trading is a great skill to pick up i wouldn't worry about it continue to learn and take it from there all right so let's go to the next comment day trading addict is one of the few people i will admit is legit i would sketch out when i bought his course because i literally just know him as a youtuber but his course is worth it and honestly made a difference in the way i see the market and approach it shout out to you julio thanks for that comment all right so let's go to the next comment i really want to succeed in this market is there anything that i can do even when the market closed to gain knowledge or become better in any other way Ooh, this is a good question and the answer is yes definitely and what you can do is you can back test right that's number one and go over your notes okay so quite sure you probably took trades this week you go over your trades you look at them you dissect them and you really study them. OK, just don't look at them and say, uh, you know, oh, that was a loser. No, look at this trade, figure out why it was a loser, figure out what type of day that was that day and so on. OK, take notes. So that's one thing you can do to actually, you know, become better when the market is not open. The next thing you can do is back test. OK, look at your charts, go back, start studying your charts. Keep on, you know, just looking at the market, studying your, your strategy and just get used to your strategy over and over and over. OK, so that's definitely another thing you can do to help your trading when the market is not open. Another thing you can do is just look at, um, you know, a program that you have, maybe some videos or program that you bought. Look over those videos more than once. A lot of people, you know, just skip this part. They don't really look at, you know, a video multiple times sometimes you have to look at a video maybe 10 times in a row just to get that concept or understand the concept so those are the three main things i would say you know you can actually do when the market is not open so you can actually become a better trader so let's go to the next question i have a question though i'm new i don't understand the concept of losing money on day trading though you don't lose money until you withdraw it so why don't you wait until it's a little higher than what you put in and then you are good please correct me if i'm wrong yeah i mean basically the way day trading works is let's say you have a one thousand dollar balance and you take some hits so let's say you took a 500 dollar hit right so now you only have 500 dollars because you set a stop loss once you set a stop loss right and it hits your stop loss Boom, you lost the money. Your money is gone. It's not like investing where you put in your money and, you know, you're not going to lose your money until you sell. OK, no day trading. You put a hard stop. Boom, it takes your money. It's gone. OK, the only way you can actually recoup that money is, you know, your next trade might be a winner and you get your money back. So that's how day trading works. So let's go to the next question. Amazing video. And thank you for breaking it down. I have incurred so much losses trading on my own. I trade well on demo, but I think the real market is manipulated. Can anyone help me out or at least tell me what I'm doing wrong? OK, so number one, I don't know what you're doing wrong because I can't see a chart. OK, uh, number two, it sounds like you need to um, maybe get somebody that knows what he or she is doing. Right. Maybe if they have a coaching program or 
any type of uh, you know program that will help you bring up your skills or help you become a better trader, make sure you invest in yourself when it comes to that. And just go over your charts, study, back test, um, and make sure that you know when you go live, your strategy works. Okay. Now you saying that you know the market is manipulated, man. You know it is what it is. That's how the market works. Don't cry about it. Um, it's best to look at the market and see how can I function or how can I still trade even though the market is manipulated. If you know that you know the market loves to do this, study that, okay, and find a way to create a strategy around that so you can actually make some profits in the market. All right, so let's go to the next question. In case of a bear market, how would you trade? It's the same way I trade the bull market, right? You know the same strategies that I use. When the market goes up, I use it in reverse when the market goes down. Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing. If I'm looking for the market to break out and maybe it has a demand level, right? I'm trading off that demand level. Guess what? If the market is breaking down, it's going to go to a supply level. So it's pretty much everything in reverse, right? So the next question is, hey, Ben, I have been thinking about buying your trading course, but I have wondered that is the content you post here on YouTube only a small portion of what you teach on your course thanks in advance yes so basically my program goes much much deeper about trading and i show you you know all my strategies how i'm trading you know every single day so yes it goes much much deeper all right let's go to the next question hi is there a time where you close your trade because the price came back to your entry area the second time before it pushes to the direction you think is going so basically this question was much longer i just you know made it shorter but He's saying that every time he's entered the market and the price bounces, you know, at his entry, he sees that market is maybe playing games. He closes his position and the market basically goes in the direction. Trust me, I'm quite sure everyone actually been through this before. So it's common. The way I would answer this is, you know, it seems like you don't have a complete strategy. I talk about this all the time. Guys, when you have a strategy, it has to be very, very specific. OK, so you should know this ahead of time. Right. If you don't know this, back test this to see if, you know, you can actually hold through these, you know, ups and downs when you enter the market. OK, because if you don't know that ahead of time, you just gamble it. It's just what it is. So you have to know ahead of time, you know, are you going to hold the market if it's chopping around your entry? If not, cut it. Me personally, I hold it. You know, I hold until it starts to make a move. Now, if it makes a move, a decent move, it comes right back to my entry. I might get out. But for the most part, I'm holding it. It doesn't matter if it chop around my entry. I'm holding it. But again, back test this. You should know this ahead of time. Your strategy should be very specific. Okay, so come on. Step up your game. You know, but shout out to you. You know, I like that question. All right, so I think that's the last question. I, I got one more comment. Yo, God bless you, man. Out here speaking the truth, it's really helping me, man. Every time I lose faith, I see one of your videos and I feel like it's the Lord telling me, don't give up. It's a weird feeling, but God bless you, yo. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you watching my content. I appreciate it. And I actually appreciate everybody that's subscribed to my channel and watch my content. I appreciate you guys. So that's about it. That's all the questions, all the comments today. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also, if you don't have my trade program, make sure you check that out below in the description. If you have any questions, comment below because I try to answer all your guys' questions. Thanks a lot for your time. And please, have a great day.